Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. So we all know just a week ago Apex has dropped its season 11 with more fun and more awesome stuff and I want all of you guys to enjoy it. So here is the best Apex Legends season 11 FPS guide and solution to all your FPS drops, lags and stutter for low end PCs. I hope this video helps you out and if it does make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel since we are really close to 20k subscribers and with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, I have a list of steps to go through, so let's move stepwise. Step number one is creating a restore point. So for that, press your Windows key and then type in create a restore point. Once you open it up, you'll be over here in system protection. Scroll down until you find your local disk C, which says system, and then hit create and name it Apex Legends FPS Guide. Then hit create. This is just to ensure that your PC is safe and sound and you can roll back all the changes you have made to the original state where nothing has happened to your PC. Alright, after making the restore point, press your Windows key and then type in graphic settings. Over here, make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on and then go to browse and then go to the download location of your Apex Legends. I have added Apex Legends from the download location and then go to options and then choose high performance and then hit save. Next thing is disabling the edge pad. This is step number 3. So for that, open up your device manager. And over here you have to go to the system devices and over here you'll find something called high precision event timer. Right click on that and then make sure to disable it. And you'll see enable device if you have successfully disabled this device. Let's move to step number 4 which is performance options. For that press your windows key and then type in performance option. Now once you are here click on adjust for best performance and then Enable these three options over here, then hit apply and then hit OK. Step 5 is NVIDIA control panel settings. Right click at any empty desktop area and then select NVIDIA control panel. Once it opens up, go to manage 3D settings and then go to program settings. Over here, click on this drop down button and then select your Apex Legends. If you don't see Apex Legends over here, go to add and then add Apex Legends from there. As you guys can see, I have Apex Legends right here. Now follow my settings. For CUDA GPUs, go for this GPU and then select your GPU. Also know that I am using RTX 2070 Super because I don't have any other options. For OpenGL rendering, click on your GPU. For texture filtering quality, go for high performance. Also, threaded optimization should be turned off. You also find texture filtering mode, select clamp and then power management mode, select maximum performance. After that, hit apply. Also, go to configure sound and fizz x and then for processor, make sure that you are using your RTX 2070 Super or whatever your graphics card is. Then go to adjust image settings with preview and then select use the advanced 3D image settings. Alright, step number 6 is using exit lag. I recommend exit lag because it is pro's choice to get better FPS and ping. Exit lag has a list of over 250 games to choose from. All you have to do is download exit lag from the link in the description below, install it and then over here search for Apex Legends. You'll be coming to a screen just like this. Over here select your region. Okay, so I have Asian servers, I have to choose the AE Dubai 01 which is the nearest servers to me as I am living in Mumbai. Now click on this thing and you'll see the estimated ping for your game. Over here, then click apply routes. Now go to tools and then go to FPS boost and then enable this option, the, this option and the last two options over here. Once done with this, minimize exit lag. Now, go to the link in the description below and download the Apex Legends FPS pack. Once you have downloaded that, extract it and open up a folder. You'll see a lot of files inside the FPS pack, so let's get started with the first one. The first one says command tweaks, and all you have to do is right click and run them as administrator. Okay, these two files enable the BCD edit tweaks and also delete the temporary files in your PC. Next thing is MSI mode tool v3. All you have to do is right click and then run this as administrator. Alright, now once you are here, locate your graphics card and then select high for the interrupt priority. 
and then click on apply. Now let's move to the first folder which says the registry optimization. All you have to do is right click and then merge all of these files. They have their specific functions and this will let your PC run more smoother and faster. Also it will optimize your threads to run faster for processing your game. So these are safe and if for any reason anything goes wrong, you guys can always roll back to the changes from the creator restore point that we have created. Nextly, you have to go to power plant and over here you'll find two options. The first one is park control and the second one is ultimate power plant. Now these are just alternatives of each ones so you can select them wisely. If you guys open up park control, park control looks like this. All you have to do is just click on this drop down and then select Bitsum highest performance, hit apply and then hit ok and it will automatically change your power plan. For the second option which says the ultimate power plan, all you have to do is open up the txt file and it should look like this. Just copy the txt file and then open up your command prompt. Now make sure to run this as administrator. Now once you open up your command prompt, paste this code over here, hit enter and it should make the ultimate power scheme. Now go to control panel and then over here search for power options and then you'll be coming to a screen like this. You'll see ultimate performance over here. But now we're using Bitsum highest performance as it is more optimized for CPU performance. Once you've selected your power plan, open up quick CPU and install the wanted file. You can install the 64-bit file or the 32-bit file according to your PC. Now once you open up quick CPU, it should look like this. Over here, make sure that you are using everything on 100%, hit apply and then go to memory and then click on clean. Once you're done with the quick CPU thing, go to the RAM optimization and over here you'll find a lot of registry files. To find your RAM, all you have to do is press windows key and then type in system information. And then look for total physical memory. For me, I have 16 GB RAM, so I'm gonna be using the 16 GB RAM registry files. If for any reason anything goes wrong, you guys can reset it to default from here. Now once you're done with the RAM optimization, go to latency, open up timer resolution, click on maximum, minimize timer resolution, open up memreduct, install memreduct. Alright, so here is how memreduct actually works. As you guys can see, there is 22% memory usage in my PC and as soon as I hit clean memory and I hit yes, the memory usage falls down. This is the exact same work that quick CPU has done in the past. As you guys can see, now I'm using 13% memory in my PC. Now this is really beneficial while gaming as it reduces the memory being used by your PC, makes it available for the game to consume. So I highly recommend you guys run Memreduct every time you open up Apex Legends. And last but not the least is the launch option. Open up this notepad, copy this code and then go to Steam or Apex Legends. Right click on your Apex Legends and then go to properties and in the general section you'll find something called launch options over here just make sure to paste this code over here before running the game and then hit play now everything has its own specific reason why to do it so just do these things and then open up apex legends and then follow the in-game settings now everything depends upon the in-game settings that you're using for your apex legends so it's highly recommended to follow all the in-game settings that i'm going to be showing you guys right on your screen over here all right so once you open up apex legends go to your settings and over here go to video settings now make sure you are playing on full screen or windowed full screen or borderless full screen mode according to you also for the expect ratio i highly recommend you guys to keep it native to get better fps for resolution you guys can play on your native resolution or you guys can lower it down to 1360 by 768 or 1080 by 720 whatever gives you better quality of gaming since lowering down the resolution consumes less gpu memory ultimately giving you better fps now scroll down and make sure that vsync is disabled, nvidia reflex is enabled plus boost, anti-aliasing is none, for texture streaming budget go for very low and then for texture filtering go for bilinear and for ambient occlusion quality go for disabled and then put both of these to low. Spot shadow detail should be disabled or you guys can keep it low. For the volumetric lighting, disable both of these things. And then everything over here should be turned to medium or low according to your PC. Once done with that, hit apply and then you are back to your screen. 
After doing all these tabs, I hope this might have helped your game to run much more smoother and better. Now take a note that these settings won't work magically. It will work for people who have nearly minimum requirements or above so I hope I have fixed your game and made it playable. I will see you guys in another amazing tutorial so subscribe for more and keep watching Bear Fox. See ya.